All right, guys, we're into the second part of these new 17 wands. Um, next up is Noble Collections Nymphadora Tonks' wand. Now, it is the same shape and design of the Tonks wand you see in the movies. I actually do have her one that I got from Japan. Here it is to compare. And the shapes are identical. The thing is, I don't like the paint on this wand. The paint is so crude and ugly, basically. You can see the brush strokes, and when you can see the brush strokes, it really takes away from the magic of the wand, in a way. It looks trashy and fake, and you just don't want that. Um, so you can see just the strokes, they have no sort of um, reference or anything. They don't make it look like wood. They don't make it look unique with the depth, with, I don't know, with its own sort of characteristics. It's just yuck. It actually reminds me of the Cho Chang wand with the same sort of thick, ugly brush strokes. Just they don't look real. Um, but yeah, I still do love the shape of her wand. This is very interesting and the triangular um, handle part actually really fits well in the grooves of my hand. I don't know about you guys, but it really fits well. Um, and then it leaves this sort of part sticking out, which is pretty cool. Um, next is Fleur Delacour's wand. And it has basically not changed, so I've got her other one from my Try Wizard Tournament set. The only differences in these wands being the colour. They still have this elegant twist um, with a unique sort of shaft, I mean handle shape, and then down the shaft are the leaves wrapping around and as you can see that's the only real difference is the colour of the wands. There you go. Um, here is Moody's new wand. Now it is once again rather different to his original wand from Noble Collection. The most obvious difference being these two silver rings that wrap around the shaft. And then the shaft is actually made of a very sort of knobbly rock like design. Um, it is very similar to the actual handle is very similar to his old wand so here we go but the size is the difference there are these sort of knobbly parts of the wood which are still there but the most major difference is the length so there's the first wand and there's the second one I have to go further a major difference in length um, much heavier as well it's got a lot of weight to this wand um, this is Professor Trelawney's wand. Now, some of you guys might recognise it to look very similar to another wand from Noble Collection. Sirius Black's wand has a basic same design. Now, here's Sirius's wand. So, as you can see, the ruins down the handle are very similar also the squared off shape at this base of the wand similar and then the swirls down the shaft although they go in different directions are very similar Sirius's wand does have these circles but I still do see a lot of similarities in this wand Trelawney's is much darker but um yeah they they just uh like almost like sister ones in my opinion um, but strange to think of Trelawney and Sirius having similar ones but yeah um, I don't know if it's very Trelawney I think she'd have a more a one that's very mo much more mystical even something like um, Umbridge's wand how it's got that glass marble in the center I think something like that would really really suit Trelawney because of like the whole crystal ball divination you know side of her character but this is the one that they've designed. Um, and 
yeah, I do like it, I admit, I do like it. I just don't think it's very Trelawney. Um, Bill Weasley's wand. So you can see it has a thick, um, jaggedy knobble of a handle. And then it grates down into the shaft. Once again, it's very sort of battered and beaten for a shaft um, in a very dark brown with sort of the lighter brown highlights through the through the knocks and the bumps. It actually reminds me of Ron's wand with the thick bobble at the end and then broken off into the like this jagged sort of part off into the shaft. Um, I see this wand as very rugged and manly, um, which is another way I describe Bill Weasley. He is a very rugged, manly kind of character in my opinion. So yeah, I do think this really suits Bill. Next, I have Molly Weasley's wand. Now hers is of an uh, orangey sort of brown colour. So yeah, with the, yeah, the off orange um, with the basic handle and shaft. Now in part one of this video, I showed Lucius Malfoy's wand. So have a look at both these wands together. Apart from the colour, they are identical. Just like Trelawney and Sirius, you know, you don't really think that Lucius and Molly would have wands that are similar. Like if they have similar wands, you'd think that their character is similar. But um, yeah, this is what has either been designed by Nova Collection or the design team on the Harry Potter movies. Um, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this wand is very Molly. I don't know. I think, I suppose it is. Like, I think I could see it just sort of getting put down and she'd be in such a rush to do so many things around the burrow that, you know, you wouldn't even think twice that that's a matriarch's wand. But I suppose, in a sense, it is very her. I don't know. How do you design a housewife's wand? <laughs> Something very basic and simple, I guess. Um... So now for the Weasley Patriarch, Arthur's Wand. The handle is a swirl screw-like design, which is really interesting, and it really feels nice in your hand. Something like, like something to massage your hand that feels cool. Um, the handle is very defined in this wand, ending with this thicker sort of knob, and then a smooth, straight shaft. Um, a nice wand. I do like the paint and the colouring in this. Just... Um, very interesting to look at. I suppose, yeah, I do see this as Arthur's wand. Um, it, I think it does suit him a bit loopy or twisted. <laughs> him with his fascination in plugs and rubber ducks. And the final one in with these new ones is Ginny Weasley's. Every time I look at this wand and um, also Neville Longbottom's wand, I can't help but think licorice twist. You know, especially this one, the black, the ebony colour of it just reminds me of licorice. And then there is this crosshatch design as part of the handle. Now, compared to the Ginny wand from the DA set, just like Fleur's, basically they're identical. Um, probably the only difference being that the DA set wand has like an off sort of black colour. It's got this sort of pale sort of tint to it in comparison. I don't know if that's because it's been sitting out on my in on the display on my wall ever since I got it or if that's just the way the paint was. Um yeah. So that's it guys. That's my 19 new ones. Um as critical as I am about them, I love them all. I love the ones. They are my my most favorite collectible in all my Harry Potter stuff. So I hope that has helped you guys out. Um, I'm planning on getting the rest of the wands, but as I live in Australia, it's quite difficult for me to find these wands at a decent price, and that will ship to Australia. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be making a new video on the controversy of the boxes as well. I'll see you guys later. Bye.